per my analysis this guy wanted to use that event the african convention event to outdoor himself to do grand revealing of the man behind the mask <laughs> whoa i like this man hello guys so you're welcome to echo podcast and i am echo right it's always good to be here with you and um i would please entreat you to subscribe and like and also comment on this video if you um, like the content and also the message that is being put across all right let me know what you think about the whole subject um whether you disagree let me know and let me know why you disagree and whether you agree also let me know your thoughts about this whole thing that you're about to listen okay so a couple of days ago i made a video about government of ghana um, and how they have put Ghana to shame, how they have tainted the image of, of, of Ghana when it comes to Pan-Africanism because Ghana is, is like the epic center of uh, Pan-Africanism, all right? It's where the whole independence movement really caught the fire, all right? When Ghana made, uh, when Ghana had its friend independence, the then president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah said the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it is linked to the total uh, liberation of the continent, all right? So yeah, if we say that Ghana is the epic center for the independence rally, all right, in Africa, I think uh, it's fair. So a few days back, um, we heard that there is going to be a convention called the Pan-African Convention, or sorry, the New African Convention. And the convention was supposed to host remarkable and very prominent figures all right in the pan-african space or even in the african politics all right and on the international stage too so to say all right we had um plo lumumba we had dr arakana the former um ambassador for african union all right um peter obi as all know peter obi nigeria and also patrick malema in south africa to the west these people are controversial and i mean to some liberal africans these people are very very controversial to them but for african or for pan-africanists but for those of you who know or believe africa deserves better and that africa should manage its own resources i mean we all have our opinion about these people all right that's not why we are here but let's talk about the event and what really unraveled i particularly made the event calling out those who cancelled the event because it was shameful for ghana to uh to host this most anticipated event and all of a sudden getting the news that that event had been cancelled on the d-day we're all disappointed and some angry and you know on youtube i mean on social media the government of ghana is being um called out all right for cancelling the event and don't blame and don't blame those calling out the government of ghana for cancelling the event they are the same people who hailed the government of ghana when they saw him talking about pan-africanism talking about why africa deserves better than just receiving aid why africa must be a partaker in the world trade system all right where we should trade fairly with the west and all that and even talking about parishion and all that i mean someone who is revered by by every pan-african or anyone who believes africa deserves better somebody who was all out and talking about africa and why africa deserves better so don't blame these people um now calling him out for betraying them all right because it doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense to see someone you think was highly pan-african to act so on pan-african all right so don't blame them but there's a new twist to the whole story and for those of us in ghana uh we've been seeing a lot of huge billboard featuring an ambitious ambiguous man behind a mask all right now we know the man behind the mask but before a couple of months ago we all didn't know and trust me this billboard has caught attention all right there has been some huge speculation or the way now we know so let's say the way huge speculation um about who possible this man behind the mask could be all right many figures people were people were people were suggesting many figures prominent figures i mean even though there were some leads pointing to this particular person that we will talk about but yeah everybody was speculating who possibly could be behind the mask all right but we should also not neglect the fact that the message that that billboard seems to communicate was being communicated in a very strategic and loud manner all right they call them the new force all right i mean the the billboard and that organization that featured the man in the mask is called or was yeah it's still called the new force all right so i think it's targeted at the youths 
and that message was being communicated really well all right then all of a sudden we heard that there was going to be an event called the new african convention we didn't know that event is being sponsored by the uh the new force i mean the man behind this the, the mask that we've been seeing the whole ghana that people were speculating uh on all right we didn't know we thought the new african convention is the new african convention all right we all thought or we all yeah we all thought it, it, it was a it was a pan-african event and you were happy and we were and we were all happy i mean that particular event was so hyped up in ghana that um everybody was expecting to see plo lumumba and listening to him everybody was expecting to listen to dr arikana face to face everybody was expecting to listen to peter obi everybody was expecting to listen to patrick malema all right then we got to know later that day the event has been cancelled by the government of ghana so why the government of ghana all of a sudden cancelled an event that is supposed to be held at a sacred place like the independent square of ghana the blaster square of ghana all right a monumental place that doesn't only belong to ghana but belongs to the whole africa because that place that the the then um pan-african president and the first president of ghana dr kwame Nkuma, said the independence of ghana is meaningless it doesn't mean anything unless it is linked to the total liberation of the continent of africa or to the entire region of africa it was that place that the government of ghana declared that so it's really really a sensitive place to hold sensitive events all right and to have a pan-african new african convention held there was something that we all felt this is not just only the right place but also the right time because that day uh, because that day also uh, was the constitution day of ghana all right so right place right time so we're all looking that forward to so we're all looking forward to that particular event with so much anticipation and, and excitement all right that event was cancelled so let me read why the government of ghana cancelled the event and let's analyze what led up to it all right according to a government press release this is what they said all right this letter was written to the new african uh, convention or foundation i mean the event organizers for that particular well anticipated um, new african convention all right it says we write to revoke immediately the uh, permission granted per our letter number da, 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 dated 11th november 2003 which approved your request to use the black star square for the above events the event's name uh is titled black star line festival and if you're ghanian and if you hear uh, and if you're ghanian and you hear about the black star line festival all you think about is entertainment all right a place where neutral events that bring onions together all right like huge uh, entertainment that bring onions together rather that brings onions together that place is never meant for political events all right so for starters just so you know you can't you can't hold a political event or any event of political nature and you can't hold an event that is uh, politically motivated there it's a neutral ground where uh only events that bring onions together are held all right so this people said or the african convention all right the the, the new african convention the, the the organizers of that particular event came or sent a letter under the auspices of uh black star line festival all right that was supposed to be their main event all right so the government of ghana is saying that they are revoking their letter all right for that particular event which means the government of ghana didn't even know that it was going to be a pan-african event or a black uh, sorry an african convention they didn't know in the first place i'm not defending the government of ghana you know it all right you know me all right but according to them they didn't even know and from the look of things during the press interview all right where plo lumumba peter obi and dr arcana spoke so many surprises also happened there all right so let's get to that now the reason why or i mean the relationship between or the correlation between the event African convention and black style events that the government of Ghana terminated, I think that correlation is established. So now you understand the relation between these two events, right? Why black line in Ghana look like um an entertainment event and an African 
uh, out called a convention event that the government of Ghana didn't even know was going to happen. Right? And that Black Stand event was also cancelled to that effect. So actually, they didn't even cancel the African event. They cancelled Black Star Line event. According to them, there was no event like African convention. <laughs> All right. From the letter that was released by the government of Ghana. Now, let's come to the person who organized the event. All right. The figure. Remember I talked about a, I mean some remember I talked about billboards all over Ghana very expensive well complicated beautiful huge billboards that had a man behind a certain mask this person actually was organizer or is organizer for the African convention that brought all these prominent African figures all right so it turned out that this guy had a political ambition now we know it has been established that he he wanted uh, to be wants to be a president all right he has political ambition so per my analysis this guy wanted to use that event the african convention event to outdoor himself to do grand revealing of the man behind the mask <laughs> whoa i like this man so he wanted actually to kill two birds with one stone one to give us the african pan-african event that we all deserve looking forward to um having pl lumumba peter obi dr Rikana, i love her so much and uh patrick Lam uh, malema all right and mind you this event all right gathered around 30 Thousand people video was cancelled. Around thirty thousand people came from, uh, uh, I mean, near and wide places for that particular event. Some from Nigeria, from USA, from South Africa, from neighboring countries. Uh, I would call it Benin, Togo, Africa. I mean, from all over the continent. All right, to come and listen to these people and to um, candle, we candle the fire of Pan Africanism in Africa. All right. The Desperance, all right, the African diaspora came for this particular event. So, this guy now we know called um, Nana Bediako or Chada, as you all know him. Very, 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 very industrious guy. A guy who has made a name for himself when it comes to uh, real estate and even in business, all right. He, he owns landmarks, all right, real estate. He owns landmarks in, in Ghana, all right. I mean, he's really rich. He, he became a millionaire at the age of 21 in London. We are talking about someone who decided to own a tiger instead of german shepherd <laughs> let's get serious all right that's just by the way i'm just trying to let you know how affluent and rich this guy is and he's really outspoken so his outspokenness coupled with his zeal and his passion as, as a pan-africanist all right and all that and being able to gather the youth and and a number all right automatically it's a threat to a political establishment establishment of ghana it's a threat all right if it's not a threat for those in ghana why is someone like if you and i would call it um this guy called um Equ Equ kevin taylor all right attacking him and we are talking about people who can't even get close to him i mean excuse me i don't want to get into that how can someone like kevin taylor and if you someone who um, <laughs> let's not get there all right a call calm down stop we are talking about this guy this guy has made i mean name for himself and has gathered something for himself all right so obviously it's a threat to the political establishment of ghana so i'm sure when they got to know ghana also have its own intelligence agency we're talking about bni and other intelligence agents that we all do not know so after probably getting to know that this event is not an entertainment event but and not only sorry this event is not only um an entertainment event or a pan-african event but a political event that will outdoor this or reveal this man behind the, the mask which already has been as a threat to the political establishment or political party leading to especially leading to the election uh, period they felt that if they allow the event to take place it's going to be disastrous or it will turn disaster for them yeah that's my analysis please it's my analysis listen to it imagine this event has gone as planned all right we have plo lumumba dr arikana uh patri lamemma uh we had peter obi all these prominent and outspoken figures revealing chair down on the seventh day of january which is the constitution day of ghana on the blaster square to the whole world that this guy could be your new president what i mean can you imagine 
the shake up think about it that would have turned out to be the biggest rally of any political party in ghana or political figure in ghana they knew about that and also the government of ghana who belongs to a political party by the way knew that he had to make a choice political party knew they had to make a choice all right the choice was between allowing this guy to be adored by these great men to the whole ghana or shutting this event to subdue that the, the type of speed is come at, at, at which this guy is coming or is, is, is moving all right so they needed to make a choice so it was combination of political um nationalistic i mean mix of everything this guy actually tried to play everyone he tried to play the government of ghana he tried to play Ghanaians. he also tried to play all the figures that he invited because apparently this figure didn't know that at the end of the day a person like him would be revealed which i knew if this event had taken place they would reveal this guy all right i wouldn't say i knew i know like definitely per my analysis definitely this guy would have been revealed because he revealed himself at the press conference <laughs> okay so the whole thing was strategically orchestrated to prop this guy up all right so it was a political chess being played here and you as a pan-africanist and the figures that they invited was caught between this whole political chess being played you see so yeah government of ghana cancelled the event it was not supposed to cancel it but it had to cancel it because one the independent square of ghana is a sacred place and a sensitive area that no political events should be held there so what under that premise they were right to cancel that event and two come on isn't it fair that they use all the cars they have to subdue a, a potential political opponent yes it's a game i mean it's a chess that this politic political party play all right so that's actually what happened the guy is a smart guy like seriously <laughs> the guy is a smart guy i mean we are talking about someone who like <laughs> He's a smart guy that's all that i can say so for those of you i mean out there just bashing the government of ghana the president of ghana calling him on uh, uh i mean non uh, on pan-african or non-pan-african or it's a stab in the back or uh i mean like a traitor or a sellout and all that i mean all kind of name all kind of all kinds of names that's what happened all right it, it was a serious chess that was being played out there and you and i as someone who was anticipating to go to the event or watch or listen to these great men and also the people who attended the, the, the event i mean i mean i'm there i mean the the, the figures the, the the prominent figures who uh, were, were invited to attend uh, were caught in this game of chess <laughs> all right so guys we all played basically we all got played and we all got saved all right they all got what they wanted the guy got what he wanted and also the government of ghana got he wanted got uh, what he wanted Let me the, the guy wanted popularity and publicity huge publicity and i can say that even the cancellation of the event has given him the needed publicity that he 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 he, he planned out massive like now it's all over the place in ghana everybody know about the story where the government of ghana canceled that event look at that man he's a hypocrite he called himself a pan-africanist he calls himself this or that he is a sellout so um why is this a sellout okay one guy called big diakon chedda organized a pan-african event and this man cancelled so this guy is is now the pan-african who was supposed to bring pan-africans to ghana to impart onto the youth and our boss who sits at the flagstaff house just picked a pen of paper and cancelled it so he, the president is a bad guy is a good guy so this guy has won there right he got what he wanted and uh it seems like the government of ghana don't also care anyway all right like we don't care like this guy tried to play us he told us that the event was going to be a black star line that later we got we got to know that it was a more political motivated event and we cancelled it so we were right so you know is a smart chess that was being played out there so guys let me know what you think <laughs> about this whole thing uh, like and subscribe and uh as always i'll see you in the next video bye